this week's call, we are focusing on the ignition year. So what are we doing on this week? This week's call. We are doing two things. One, we're looking at what we did right and look at what we've done wrong in the past year. And then what we're going to do is look at how we can set up a 90-day sprint. So some of us have got the either, um, I won't say the ability, but the, the, um, the discipline to plan for a year and, and plan out a year and ahead. But what I find, and I'm finding more and more so, um, recruiters have got a funny old thing going on, have we, in, in our heads and how we work. So what we're going to do is we're not going to plan out an entire year. We're going to plan out a sprint, a 90-day sprint, an achievable sprint. We're going to break that down to three key projects. We're going to break it down to a theme. But what we're going to do is two parts of today's session. So this time last year, for those of you being in the, in the group for, um, for 12 months, you know that last year we preloaded your year. We planned out your year in advance. Today we'll do something a lot more acute and a lot more direct. And now it might be a little bit painful, but we need to take these things head on. So let's jump into the ignition year. As always, as we move through, post your questions in the chat box, any feedback, any thoughts you want to share, what you've done right, what you've done wrong, anything you want to um, bring up or you want, to, want answers to, post in the chat box. Now today, we're going to be covering every element, the attract, convert, deliver, the automation side of things, it affects all of it. So today's workshop breaks down to two elements. Part one, the 12 month recruiter review, and part two, the ignition year. So two parts, looking back, looking forward. This is not going to be a passive call where we sit on the call and we say, you know, next year I'm going to clap my hands, this is the year I'm going to do a million dollars or I'm going to do five million dollars, whatever your figure is going to be, or I'm going to, I'm going to do my first hundred thousand dollars, whatever your figure is. Um, no, this isn't about being passive, it's about actually setting up implementation steps. As Johnny just put in the chat box, implementation warrants the, the lesson or, the, or indeed the results. And from there, you can either scale or you can improve the conversion. Not interested in um, being perfectionists, not interested in us, um, I wouldn't say dithering because there's so much going on, but I'm not interested in things being perfect. Implementation will give you results. And that's where we want to move. So part one, the 12 month recruiter review. Now the problem I see is this. The problem we see, at the beginning of um, January, we're there on December 31st, we make this big grandiose statements, this is the year I'm going to take my business from X to X, this is what, what I'm going to do. I and mean, all this excitement comes, and it's like the gym, the gym's the busiest place in the world in January, and come March it's empty. We want to move away from that. So the problem we see is that end of the year, you finish the year with less than desired. You've got less than what you planned out at the beginning. On January the 1st, this is going to happen. Then what actually happens? The delivery, the results, the outcome, the metrics, they don't fit into what we actually wanted up front. So instead of having that passion at the end of the year, we get to the end of the year and it's, we got through another year. We got through it. Not the year actually gave me this. In this year I did this. This year I doubled, I trebled, I quadrupled. We just got through it. We've survived. Next problem. We see lots of work. Lots and lots of work and we're going bang, 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 bang. Lots of work, small output. Lots of misdirected work. Misdirected output. We complicate things. I was sent a business plan by a, um, a, a someone who uh, applied to join the inner circle, and they sent me a business plan, and they were very, very proud. And um, and before the the, the, um, the strategy session, they sent through this big this big business plan. It was thirty odd pages, and they had all. Uh, I'm going to get a writer to do this, and I'm going to post on Instagram and do all these. He, he, they literally just gone and found all the buzzwords in the marketplace, I mean across everything online, put it into a document and um, they were, you know, the, um, they knew it all as such. But they were saying the right things and I said to him, listen, you're saying the right things, you're, you're saying the right things but I've just got, um, I haven't got a good feeling about this, I haven't got a good feeling. Um, because the person's coming from a, well I know you need to be using Instagram nowadays, I know that 2.7 million users, um, every single whatever the figures were, etc, etc, etc. I said, well that's not what we're about, we're not about doing the shiny things and what you need to do is, your, what's your outcome? You don't need a thousand different social media channels, you don't need to have a um, hundred consultants hitting the phones, you need to have a, a process that you can measure, you can improve conversion and you can scale. Well I know because I've read this and I had a bad feeling about him and um, he actually swore at me. And it's funny how... Uh, um, you have these gut feelings and, and they come true, so um, obviously didn't want them in the group. But 
this guy sent his business plan through and the amount of work involved to actually implement that was would have been well it, it's, it's, it's like a big corporate what he's actually looking to do but there was no actual output there's no actual outcome to what he was doing he just read that I need all this activity online I've got to do all these amazing things ok what's the actual outcome we're looking to have we, have we actually reverse engineered the steps here and he couldn't understand that so big work small output something we see now the promise when we start to look at what we've done and that's what we're going to get into very very quickly and we're very very honest with ourselves and direct with ourselves we want to bring the lessons with us we want to bring the lessons with us it's pointless if you've gone through the previous year and X amount of activities have happened and X amount or Y has actually delivered an output now if you you may well have hit your, your target it could be this year I want to do a million dollars you may well have done it um, you know, so, um, we had uh, Laura. You know, Laura. I didn't even know she doubled a business. You know, she's got a seven-figure business now. I didn't even know that she'd done that. I um, just dropped it in, in a, in a conversation on, um, on one of these sessions. But the lessons, whether you share them with me or whether you haven't share, shared them with me, um, there are lessons that you know that you've learned in the last year, and you need to apply them. You need to look at what's actually happened. There's no point planning ahead, going a million miles an hour, when in fact we don't need to be doing a million things. But you need to look at what you've done in the past, whether it be 90 days, it could be in the last 180 days. But we need to bring those lessons with us. The second thing is this, when you start to do this, you have the year work for you. So there are really two ways you can look at your, your year. One is, which most recruitment companies do, which is they get into a, a hamster, wheel, hamster wheel process, which is every single week my consultant is going to do X amount of phone calls or they're going to do X amount of whatever the activity is or we're going to go to X amount of networking events etc 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 and they've got this cycle that goes on all we can do is plan strategically so for example if you have started running webinars you've done the first one um, right X amount of people showed up X amount of people put it into my diary okay I need to improve the, the conversion element I'll do the second one you do one webinar a month, whatever it might be. It might be you've got a strategy whereby you build up. So yes, I've got a, a strategy call, a, sorry, a velocity call, the member pool. Paul's um, is having, he's using the double R, double R strategy. He's now rolled out across his company. I think he has six consultants in his company. So his consultants were, were previously hitting the phones, were manually sending out emails, manually chasing up candidates, etc., etc. Now we've got this two-step process. I'm not sure if Paul's on the call. Let me see if Paul is on the call. But what Paul's doing is, was, sorry, is, was, what Paul was doing is identifying, right, we've got these 10 new roles come up, right, how can we get um, in this marketplace, so this type of role, how can we get the, we know there's 500 candidates in the marketplace, how can we get 500 candidate details, get 500 contact details for these candidates really, really quickly and straight away put them into double R, double R. So 10 roles come in, how can I get every candidate on the marketplace, how can I quickly get that data? So that's step one. Step two is we take that data and put it double R, double R. So guess what? That's a process that his consultants are now not even going to be involved in. So before, they had someone else actually going out and creating these lists of candidates, but then the consultants themselves would then add them into double R, double R, and they'd manage that. But now looking to actually scale the business in this way. So if we can build up six, um, sorry, six consultants, so six sets of um, roles coming in, a VA builds those lists, the VA then adds them to double R, double R for each of the six consultants. The consultants then only deal with the responses that come into the business. Those who say, yes, I'm interested in looking, or yes, um, I'm open for a conversation, or yes, I'd love a career ignition call. So that scale can happen quickly. So in that case, he's got a process where it's, on gonna, it's gonna be an ongoing basis, whereas we may have, you may have a strategy whereby each time you run an event, you know at the back of that, back of that event, you're gonna get 50, 60, 70 client appointments you might run one event every two months, whether it be an online event, like a webinar, or it might be an offline event. So you want to have the year work for you. You don't want to just be in this never-ending cycle. And that's why in the second part of today, we're going to set up a 90-day sprint. So on a session a few weeks ago, I spoke about how we want you to run your, well, how I recommend you run your business using the Scrum approach, which is whereby rather than build up these lists that build and build and build, and you want this forever hamster wheel, uh, this is what my 90 days look like. This is what I must do to make it a success. Success looks like this. So it's X amount of leads, X amount of clients. And then all the other activities that come in, and it could be, for example, um, imp increasing your social media channels. It could be adding social media channels. It could be starting a webinar strategy. That will go into Q2. 
But we want to have the year work for you, not you chasing and chasing and chasing and you get that oh, hamster wheel. We don't want that. We want to be thinking strategically. So whether you're using the strategy like Paul's going to do, so each time a role comes in, and that happens on a continual basis, but it's a strategy. We've got a role. Right, how do we build that list quickly? Right, how do we get it into um, double R, double R quickly? Or do we plan on doing a conversion event every one, two, three months, whatever it might be? Next, we want to plan from looking backwards. The first thing we want to do is plan from looking backwards. So what's worked, what's not worked. And we start to see what, what we've done, which is um, warranted results, and also really, really important, what's not given us the results, what mistakes we've made, we actually want to learn from this. It's pointless scaling something that is actually going to cause more chaos. Hey there, so what do you think about that then? So the intent of that session was really just to let you understand that, that there are many, 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 many companies like you in the same position. It's really just to let you understand that I get where you're at. So there's five key, five key problems you might have there that you can relate to. And if you are, I completely empathize with what you are going through right now. But really what I want you to focus on is the outcome to actually turn that around. So I've given you five key indicators and five key steps you might be able to move forward with. I've not given you templates, I've not given you the how-to, I've not given you the tools, I've not given you the overarching integrated strategy. It's only a quick video. But what we can do is this, we can jump on an agency growth action plan call, and on that call I will give you the how-to, and I will give you the steps, and I will give you the strategy. So on that call what we can do is this. Before the call I want you to just complete a couple of questions for me, so I've got some context. And then on the call we can do this. If you need clients, I'm going to give you three strategies specific to your niche that are going to help you get, not just attract and all that woo-woo, but actually get clients that are going to pay you in the next 30 days. So you actually get clients who are going to pay you. That's inbound clients coming to you saying, Mark, can we speak on Tuesday at 2 o'clock? Rachel, on Thursday, can we speak at 4 o'clock? Nigel, Monday, can we speak at 7 o'clock? So actually clients coming to you, I'm going to show you how to do that. Number two, if you need candidates, I'm going to give you at least one inbound system, at least one inbound system to get candidates. And not just any candidates, but the candidates you need to get paid. So if you're searching on job boards, they're the candidates you cannot place. They're the ones who are open to everyone else in the marketplace. There are those who are actually looking for roles. They're those who have been placed before and have been asked to leave the company. They're not the candidates you want. You want the candidates who are passive, as you know. And the third thing is, whether you're looking for automation, whether you're looking for inbound, whether you're looking for systemization, whether you're looking to scale, go from 100k to 500k, or go from 500k to a million, or whether you start enough looking to get to your first 200k, I'm going to give you that momentum. So we're going to do that on an agency growth action plan. So look below, click the button below, schedule your call. There's just a handful of questions there, literally just a handful. Give me as much information as possible. We're going to get on that call, and then we're going to get into solution mode. So I look forward to speaking to you soon. The places are strictly, strictly only for those who are really, really serious about change. So, as you can see, we've only got a handful of appointments there. So click the button below and really think about this. Are you looking to change your business now? Are you looking to really move from the old way of doing things to, yeah, I want inbound. Now, if you go to our website, you can go and check out dozens and dozens and dozens of case studies and all sorts of cool tools, strategies, webinars, and all that cool stuff. But click the button below, schedule that call before they all go. I think we've got five, six appointments left, and then we'll go on to that 15-minute call, and it's not us at the park. So let's go on the agency growth action plan call, and we'll speak soon. Take care. Bye-bye.